it. Thanks, guys. Governor Mark Dayton wants to focus on finances in his final year in office. So today will be day one of trying to accomplish the goals that he laid out in his State of the State address. Look at what we accomplish by working together. Just imagine what more we can do if we continue. Thank you very much. The governor reflected on his two terms, how far the state has come, and talked about the work that still needs to be done. Mary McGuire live at the state capitol this morning with more takeaways from the speech and also some reaction. Mary, you know, he was addressing a legislature completely controlled by Republicans. That's right, he was, and last night marked his eighth and final State of the State address. And in that speech, Governor Dayton said that he has some final goals for his uh, final few days in office, and they relate to gun control. Those changes that they've proposed will help keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. They will save lives. I want to thank the many legislators in this chamber from both parties who are fighting for these and other life-saving measures to reduce gun violence in our state. I will sign any of that legislation the minute it reaches my desk. Now, the governor thanked lawmakers for their legislation to extend criminal background checks on all gun purchases and to require all lost or stolen firearms to be reported to law enforcement. He also went over his accomplishments over his years in office, like bringing Minnesota back to a state of financial surplus. One of his major goals was also to increase public school funding and new programs such as all-day kindergarten and expanded preschool offerings. After his speech, Republicans offered their rebuttal. From our perspective, the state of the state is good. Um, it's very strong. Minnesotans are, are experiencing uh, great effects from the tax relief passed in Washington, uh, great effects from the tax relief passed by Republicans here in Minnesota last year. Um, and as a result of that, uh, our Minnesota budget now has a, a surplus. We've seen a $600 million turnaround from a deficit to a surplus because of that tax relief, because we invested in Minnesotans, and Minnesotans have invested back in our economy, and we think that's just an awesome thing. Now, Republicans also added that they could work with the other side of the aisle on issues like the opioid crisis and school safety. They say the tone of the speech left them optimistic for the rest of this session, which does traditionally end in May. Now, Dayton also joked that he kept his speech short so he could walk out of those chambers on his own. Of course, you remember last year there were some scary moments during his speech. He collapsed and hit his head on the podium. Shortly after that, he did announce that he was suffering from prostate cancer. He is since cancer free. So uh, well wishes to Governor Dayton on his health in these uh, final days in office, Jason. Absolutely. Mary, thank you. Over at the Capitol today, lawmakers are going to hold a hearing on a bill requiring hotel employees to be trained to identify sexual harassment. The House Public Safety Committee will discuss the highway protest penalty bill. Senate Republicans will unveil the Elder Care and Vulnerable Adult Protection Act. DWI laws and cell phone distraction as a qualifier for criminal vehicular homicide will also come up. So busy day with a lot on the agenda today. Just over two months left in the 2018 session. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage.